ma'am. Megan, is she about to get the Diddy treatment? Oh my God. Boy, boy, boy. A lot of people are saying how the tables have turned or they are turning. Let me get everybody up to speed. This news had dropped today and I'm going to share it with you all. And it says Megan Thee Stallion accused of harassment by a cameraman who said he was forced to watch her have sex. Emilio Garcia filed a lawsuit alleging he was trapped inside of a moving vehicle with the hip hop star in a foreign country while she had sex with the woman. Uh, <laughs> now, first of all, CJ, let me say this. Um, if you ever hear Jay Red <laughs> say that he's suing a woman for forcing him to see another woman have sex with that woman, you could go ahead and, and just take my sexuality away from me just be like nigga get the fuck out of here you know what i'm saying you can it, it's gonna be the the no diddy pause you can take out what would i look like doing that of course i did see that the guy he did look moist i'm just keep I, mean, I, was, I swear to you i haven't looked him up yeah. i said he has to be gay yeah the, the, he 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 definitely he ha- is moist. if he's yeah. not his lawyer said, Hey, I can get you some quick M's. Like, real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to play if you want some M's. Yeah. I can get it. Then, okay, maybe you just on some frivolous lawsuits. You know, McDonald's coffee burnt my tongue. I need $8 million type shit. So yeah. If it, it's, it's one of the two. Or some that, fr- it's super frivolous or he gay as hell. It's one so, of this is what it looks like. All right. It says, Amelia Garcia said in a, law- a lawsuit. Blah, blah, blah. Don't ever discuss what you saw. That's what Megan said. Uh, and berated, fat shame, and treated differently by Megan. The harassment was so severe or pervasive that it created a hostile, abusive work environment that made Garcia's working conditions intolerable. Now, this was released by her lawyer, Alex Spiro. This is an employment claim for money with no sexual harassment claim filed with and with salacious accusations to attempt to embarrass her. We will deal with this in court. Did it, does it say what he's asking for? Mm. I don't think I saw no, it. it. I don't know. Okay. No, 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 no. I know if they put a number on it. No, they didn't put no number on it. Yeah, it, look, he's either gay or he's just looking for or he a just, money grab. Yeah, he's looking for a money grab. Or well, check this out. This is why I'm asking if he's gonna if she's gonna get the Diddy treatment. All it takes is one person. And right now, with the whole Diddy thing going on, we see the floodgates start to open. And if you piss somebody off, not saying make it, this is all allegedly, this can come in twos and threes and and whatever. Because when Lizzo got accused of like this kind of the same thing, you had more people start talking about, hey, backstage, she was uh, a bitch towards me and she made me do this. It was more than more in person that came out and said that. So with Megan, I don't know, man, I think that once this happens, because if you historically, when we see this happen, does it ever always just be one lawsuit? Yeah, no, it's, it definitely always, you know, people see the opportunity or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And they, and they, they definitely pile on. Lizzo is an anomaly though. Like the, the biggest difference between Megan and Diddy is one's a man and one's a woman. And there, it's, there's a, there's double standards when it comes to these types of things. We all know that unless you've been you know, living yeah, in a, exactly. a box. But, right. So the thing is, but this is the thing with Megan. A lot of people do not like Megan Thee Stallion. And when I say that, I'm saying like when you go through the comments, just about everything she does has some type of negativity attached to it uh, because of the Tory Lane situation. A lot of people feel like Tory Lanez is an innocent man that's in jail uh, due to Megan lying on him. And I started reading the comments. A lot of people were saying the tables are turning. Oh, this is karma. She's getting her karma uh, free Tory and stuff like that. And we know how these lawsuits work. And I feel like they're doing this with Diddy right now. It's about public opinion. Shaking you down for money to ruin your image. So that's what I feel like she could possibly be um, getting. Shout out to you, Antoine Perkins. You love the show. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but, you know, I think that with these, the, the it's going to be more. That's what I, I told my, my woman today. I said, man, look, because she's a big Megan Thee Stallion fanatic. I said, this is just the start of it. Because li- think of how ridiculous this shit sounds. It does. She, you were sitting in the car and she made you watch her have sex with another woman. That story just sounds crazy. It sounds entertaining. I ain't gonna lie. Like, it it sounds like a dream I had. I mean, yeah, day. like if she, you couldn't, she didn't have to force me. Somebody said I would sue myself for suing her. For <laughs> <one thing. laughs> 
you got to not have balls in order to sue a woman for watching. Even if you gay, nigga, well, how you, you just going to turn your head away when you see two women having sex with each other? Even if you are gay, come on, bro. That don't even make sense. Like, you should be there for moral support or something like that. Like, <laughs> but the, the ridiculousness of it is probably what will cause this to go away pretty quickly, to be honest, because it does sound ridiculous. Yeah. Even in the court of public opinion, all those comments you're referring to, they just don't like Meg. They've chose a side. They didn't like Meg before Tory. They didn't. They're not gonna like her afterwards. They've chosen but, a side. You could have 4K video of Tory shooting her, and they're still gonna be like, "Yo, this shit is AI." So it's just like sometimes it just that's just how things work. People choose a side, bro. Trump can literally do no wrong in a ton of people's going, eyes. Yeah, but I, I just I just think that it's gonna be more allegations that are going to be ridiculous it's possible though. yeah i think it's that it's possible. coming just the climate that we're in right now how did he set the president for what 2024 is about to be you about to hear man and then this dude was cool with her this dude was in her circle all this stuff hanging with her in video with her oh man he ain't the only one they're about to dogpile on her like diddy and i'm I calling it on the show right now it's, it's possible not saying officially it's going to happen but i i we see how this type of stuff works leave Meg alone man that's my baby I guess you can have her, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, man, anyway, man, shout out to everybody that tuned in with us tonight, man. Uh, this this has been a very, very awesome show. I hope everybody had a good time like we did. Uh, shout yeah. out to uh, Antoine Perkins and Trio 301. Everybody who joined us um, on here tonight, if you have not already, make sure that you subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Also, 